Hey guys, this is Nutcase. Uh, this is a sketchbook tour for my sketchbook number three of my numbered sketchbooks. This one was done last year, starting around the time sketchbook number two ended, so around June 2015. Alright, let's get going. And again, a bunch of stickers, as you guys can see. I love stickers. So yeah, uh, 16, 15, 15 was when this started. A dragon lady started out. And then a sheba lady admiring a tag on her new collar. My character Fuku, who is a lucky cat beast. Really likes sushi. Uh, my fan character for Hex TCG Online. She is a shin hair warrior. Uh, this is before they started doing the PvE stuff. But yeah, I, I did quite a few sketches of her trying to get her character laid out, so... <laughs> There's quite a few of her in here. And then uh, this is the giant isopod that I mentioned in Sketchbook 2, where I said that I did the final picture and uh, did the final product, which is actually this. Turned them into keychains. And they've got the underside of the isopod, so if you guys can see that. Doop -doop. And these are for sale. They're uh, $10 plus shipping. Um, I'll put a link down in the description so if anybody wants to get those. If you're a giant isopod fan, like I am, you know. And more of my Shin Hair character. Uh, this was supposed to be her tattoo. Just never got around to scanning, inking, and doing her re reference sheet. Uh, this was a Twitter raffle winner. A couple of the next ones were like this one. This one was actually also one, but it happens, it happens to be one of my local friends as well, their character, so. Also another Twitter raffle, raffle winner, blah. And there's also another one. I, I pulled a lot for this one just because I felt bad. I think it's because I lost like a lot of <laughs> uh, emails, so I didn't get everybody on there that I should have. I felt bad. Now this one, <laughs> I learned that you should not do Copex on sides that you don't want to bleed, but luckily I had scanned this one beforehand. This one's actually been scanned and finished digitally. But uh, yep, before I did the next one, which this one was done on Stitch Day, because I love Stitch. Such is my favorite Disney character. See, I learned. I skipped a page. <laughs> and then, uh... Here's my Shin Hair character again. And then, this was when I started experimenting with these gray pens that I got. Um, I did quite a few like this with a lot of cra cross hatching and just drawing away with those pens. I just really like them. Uh, this is uh, Shinobu from Bakimonogatare. It's a chibi. It turned out awful. It's her eating donuts. And then some vampire, I guess. Elf lady. <laughs> I don't know. And then the Mew. And then my octopus slime girl. Or actually she's a squid. Squid Slam Girl. In my Dragon Bird character, who I got from a Japanese artist. I love that character. Uh, this is a character I got from a friend of mine, Skull Dog. And there's my character Onyx again. Again, with all <laughs> this is when I started doing a lot of cross hatching and figuring out the flow to that for me, because to me this was like crazy that people could do this in little tiny squares and you'll see in sketchbook four where I do a lot more of it even. But yeah. And even here, I mean obviously. I was just getting in the groove of that. But again, I have these new pens and I discovered I like to do any cross hatching, so all the cross hatching. And this was a preliminary doodle for a trade on Twitter. It's 
one turned out really nice. I liked the final one better, which was this one. And, uh, yeah. And then Anthena, my character, who is a manticore. And then more of my shin hair. <laughs> Scary possessed shin hair lady. Uh, dragon species thing that I usually draw somewhere in sketchbooks. Ooh, I hope that didn't knock the camera. I'm gonna check that really quick. Stay open thing. Still look good? Still look good, okay. So this is my owl dragon character. And little kitty bean. Because I didn't know what to fill in that page with. <laughs> and then Sardonyx from uh, Steven Universe. Because she is my favorite. I love Sardonyx. Then Maya from uh, Show by Rock, who is again my favorite character from that show. You can see I doodled her quite a bit. <laughs> I binge watched that show. I don't know, this is me trying to find a different face style to draw. Did not really pan out. More of the sheep alien girl. And then my character who is a Cyclops. I'm still never given a name to you. I did quite a few drawings of her in here. I'm really bad with names, so I never seem to name characters. But I really enjoyed drawing her. I still do. I just don't draw her as much. Uh, Pumpkaboo from Pokemon. And then this is a uh, picture I did uh, for an artist on Twitter who I follow who's Japanese. Kotusum on Twitter. This is just their character. It's a, it's a super fun character. Their art's super fun. If you have a Twitter, you should check that out. That's K-O-T-S-U-M. They're just... it's a lot of fun to follow on. More of my Cyclops character. And then my uh, character Caramel. And then a Pikachu plush. And then... Chicken Cat. <laughs> Another plush I have. And then some ink headshots of my characters. And then some gift art. My friend Brandon, the person I follow on Twitter. And my character Tilligan. He's easy to do in the color pencils since he's actually uh, <laughs> white, black, and blue. Then a kitty cat guy. Other were my characters. Also another one of my characters. I want to say, is that the end? Yep. That is the end of Sketchbook 3, which was a little over two months to finish this one. Um, don't know why it took me that long to finish this one, but I did. So that is Sketchbook 3. As I said, I'm in previous sketchbook videos. I'm recording the first four all in one go, so sketchbook four should be up pretty soon after this one goes up. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.